All right, back over to Katie now with more on our forecast. I know. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, gorgeous, actually. I know. This is part of the reason we're not going to be as warm tonight as we had cold air come in and mm -hmm. then some of the clouds are parting, so we lose any warmth that we had. But I just, that's the most blue sky I've seen. Yeah, today. In a bit, yes. Temperatures, though, that's pretty chilly in the mid 50s, where we should be 60 is our average right now. So just a little below average for us there. Here's a look at the temperatures for the month, and you'll see we are still on the warmer side. Like I mentioned, we saw the temperatures. Temperatures get to the low 60s again today, which is what we had anticipated, which is above average. Then we have a couple of days and we continue to cool until we get to Thursday, and that should be the coolest day of the month for us. Looking at the rainfall, we've had two pretty decent days. You can see there yesterday and then today almost a half inch, and we are not done with the showers yet. There should be some that return for us tonight. And then as we go into the morning, we still have a chance for some thunderstorms. The setup for tomorrow is almost identical cold through today just a little cooler you'll notice if you look right here it might, might be hard to see but you have what looks like these rain bands runs right here and then there's one right here and you'll see as we progress those start to move together as we go through so here's a break in the shower so get to midnight there's a bit more and then if you watch up here you'll start to see some curves in these lines right here this is another low pressure system that's dropping down you can see everything shifting and we have showers all the way until Monday night off and on just like today and then a chance for a thunderstorm or lightning strike here or there. Then we get to Tuesday, and you'll notice that there's a bit of a break. No showers until the early part of Wednesday morning along the coast, and then about late morning, close to midday for that next round of showers coming in on Wednesday. That right now looks like it will carry through till Thursday, so we'll keep an eye on that. As far as going through until tomorrow, you'll see our clock is getting all the way till about Monday at 5 o'clock. We have anywhere from just a little more than a tenth of an inch. That's a Canadian model to we're looking at an inch here and an inch down at the bottom there. So that's the models that we use. That graph is what we typically watch for you and see how much we could get. The heaviest rain right now looks like it will be Monday night, and then we get into the later part of the evening. And look at that. Looks like it could be dry Monday, even going into the first part, uh, or Tuesday, going into the first part of Wednesday. Still another inch possible for the next three days. Tomorrow, by and large, similar to today, just a bit cooler temperatures, mid-upper 50s along the coast, some mid-upper 50s through the valley, and then you'll see some low 50s when you head off to the east side of the region. Here it is, your seven-day forecast with those shifts that I talked about tomorrow. Similar to today, showers, a chance for thunderstorms, temperatures slightly cooler. We keep similar temperatures on Tuesday, but that looks like it could be a mainly dry day. Then we start turning rainy again on Wednesday. Right now, it does look like we do stay cool and rainy through Halloween. But, of course, we mention this all the time. Plenty of time for that to change. We'll make adjustments and let you know. And then those showers finishing up on Friday. Next weekend, looks like it should be dry and mild. Temperatures climbing back into the upper 50s.